Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I got Pop Smoke going on in my background. He's been my vibe all morning long. You know what I'm saying? You could have run in and tap in with me if you want to. I don't really have too many topics that I do, but I figured I'm going to start with, um, you know what I'm saying, your six months. So you see you in six months is what's on my mind, and I feel like, you know what I'm saying, we have to start setting goals for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't liked the page, please go and like the page. I'm coming in with strong energy this morning. There's a lot of people in front of me. It's a lot of people behind me. And I'm wondering where you are in line with your goals today. So uh, we won't take up too much of your time. This will probably be about 30 minutes. Right now we're at 10 minutes to 8 o'clock. I'm hoping that you're up on the 5th of November. Um, I don't know how the elections are going. I haven't turned on the news as of yet. So a lot of you are probably awaiting. Some of you are probably still dragging out of bed. Some of you probably got an early start like I did. I woke up at 2 a.m., so I'm on I'm on a, I'm a whole nother insomniac uh, grind right now for individuals that are out of state. We're probably on the same vibe, probably on the same grind right now, um, getting stuff done. Now, <clears throat> I know for me, I have nine days until I launch my first book, my first published book, um, and I have five days in order to get it ready and prepared for pre-sale. So this is a, a goal that I set for myself six months ago, um, and that's when I started See You in Six Months, which is a group that I um, I've created for individuals to hold each other accountable and for a support system on setting goals and accomplishing goals and celebrating those goals. It's very important that we take time to not only set goals and monitor or evaluate, and evaluate ourselves in prog progressing and producing um, results that we are looking for in general, but to also have that support system to motivate you, encourage you, support you, and also learn from you. When talking to other people about their goals is so important because you never know what it is that they have in mind or what fuels that goal in the first place. We always talk about our whys. Our whys are the gasoline in the vehicle that gets us to where we're going. The vehicle being what we're going to do to get there. Our why, as I said, is the gasoline that gets, that fuels the vehicle that gets us to our destination. So whether that be, you know, to stop drinking alcohol or to um, resolve uh, resentment issues in the family or uh, jealousy of your partner or having submissive, submissive, submissive issues with your partner. I think that those all come from core issues within ourselves. Now, these are just topics that I'm kind of pulling down. Me, I can't necessarily say that I relate to them. I've never been in a long-term relationship outside of two years. And um, for the most part, for the past five years, I've spent dedicating to my self-development, my personal development, and still going. So bringing these topics to mind is another reason why see you in six months makes such a big deal to me. Because your goal can be from anything, from saving $1,000 to the end of the year and to losing 100 pounds to uh, starting a business to coming up with your logo. I mean, at the end of the day, it's so important that we actually accomplish these things that we want in our minds. Because could you imagine what it's like to continue to set goals for yourself? And every time you look up, someone is doing exactly what you thought to do. And that's the whole thing. You know what I mean? We are all sharing energy. And at the end of the day, if you can't get it done by yourself, there are so many people that can help you accomplish those goals. So you need to write them down, get into a group, get a system going to where you can take these little things that you know that you want to do, that you know that you have in mind, and be able to accomplish those goals. Good morning, Quest Shipley. Um... Feel free to tap in with me. I'm basically just talking about See You in Six Months, which is a accountability program, not program, I'm sorry, accountability group that I want to and have started on group on um, Facebook to bring out the goals that we would like to have within a six month period. So whether you want to stop cursing, if you want to lose weight, if you want to change your diet, you know what I mean? Whatever your goal may be, um, see you in six months is uh, something that I want people to take heed to. And what I'm basically talking about is the reason behind it. So um, I 
had to, uh, I had to, uh, I had to recognize the work that I put in these past two years, and um, I'm continuing to, and my plate is only getting more full. So, like I said, it's not difficult to live the life that you want to live if you decide to take steps to move forward. I am now a podcast host. I now po- uh, co-host a, a spoken word platform. I'm also a janitorial post-construction cleaning contractor. I have a clothing business. Um, I'm also a TLC distributor. Um, I am also an author and a writer. So, you know what I mean? All of these things didn't come overnight and they continue to develop over over time as you put in effort into it every single day. Um, I, I, I'm a big advocate for staying productive because for the life that we are creating is the life that we invest into. So, and you know, you wanna you wanna be able to literally be a walking bank. You know what I mean? Everything that you say, everything that you do, every time you show up somewhere, if you leave in the house and you away from family and kids, then you wanna pretty much be getting paid for it if you're not going to go spend money with your family and friends, if you understand what I'm saying. And in order to do that, to get to that position, we have to grind for what we want and at and to know that it doesn't take much. All it takes is your effort and being yourself. And to know that you putting your talent out there is going to get you seen, it's going to get you discovered, it's going to get you known, it's going to get you what it is that you want. All you need to do is do what you said you're going to do. And if you have to start with goals, start with goals. Because at the end of the day, no matter what industry you're in, no matter what you say you're going to do, it all starts with a goal. So, you know what I'm saying? You have to, and I know you know what I'm saying, but please take heed how important and precious time is you only have one life to live and in that life you get so much time within a day and within that day you can accomplish so much um and in being able to involve kids in it your kids to be able to involve your family in it um to be involved be able to involve your friends with it to be able to involve other communities and other generations into it is a big deal um and every single one of the platforms that I put myself on is something that can relate to everybody. You know, you know what I mean? Like I said, everybody listens to poetry. Everybody writes clothing. Everybody wants to take healthy nutrients and, and, and take care of themselves. So luckily, I've made goals for myself to continue to advance in my skills of those, of those products, you know, I want to continue to do so. I want to continue to learn more about the industries that I'm in, and I, as well as learning about other ones. So, I'm encouraging you in this video to say, hashtag see you in six months. Because today I want you to take more serious about what it is that you're going to do and start today. In six months from now, I want you to look back and say, you know what I said? I went on the Audrey's page and I saw this video of this cat, man, of this of this chick, of this dude, whatever you, however you see me. I'm non-binary, you know what I'm saying? Um, my features will probably get more masculine over time, but I am born female. Um, and like I said, as you go over time and you look at what it is that you've been able to accomplish all from seeing that one video, all for making that one decision after having that one feeling in your mind and tapping into that feeling every single day even if it's the clear negative energy and you say within the next six months i'm going to rebuild my mentality i'm going to change the focus and the progress of my subconscious mind and my in my in my conscious mind to make sure that i'm in control of the positive rotation of thoughts that i that i i i tap into that i respond to you know what i mean and um, I know you know what I mean, but that's what's important is that it takes effort, it takes work, it takes, it takes initiative, you know what I mean? Nothing happens overnight, but it does take effort. It takes you saying, I'm going to do something about it, you know what I mean? I wrote down my plans and I made fire fires. I made so much happen, you know what I mean? And a lot of things were coming to me. 
And at first, to be honest with you, I was passing up on a lot of opportunities. So let me, I don't want to toot no horns like, oh, I just was taking everything. Like, I passed up on so much music, like super music opportunities, you know. And it's not because of any other reason besides I was lazy. And then I used my my current or should i say at that time my current knowledge of the music business i said i'm not going into music i'm not taking it that serious i don't even know what i'm doing you know what i mean i could write a song but you know and i'm one of those people that can sit in the studio all day long and write song after song after song you can ask the people that's done music with me and we would sit there and get loaded all day and these people will let you know i'm not i took music very seriously I'm not, I'm not recording fucked up, and I'm not performing fucked up, but I will sit in the studio and I will write you a song, and trust me, if I'm already lit, you can ask any of my producers. If I'm not in a position to write a song, I will tell you, give me three days. Give me three days, and I'll get you the song, and i get the song back to the producer. We will be recording that day. I took music very serious, and for some reason, I just slacked on it. I slacked on it, and it's one of the things that I wish I would have never done. I wish I would have never done. So if I have to look back, and I say, if I were to say in six months, you know what I mean? If I make a pro, if I give myself a promise, if I make a goal to write X amount of songs, you know what I mean? And I want to have those done in six months, then that is something that you should do. I should do. I should say like uh, for six months. I'm going to write X amount of songs. I'm going to write 200 songs in the next six months. You know what I mean? And then that's what you have in, in two months. And I mean in that six months. And then six months from then, after you got your 200 songs, you make another six months to hit 300 radio stations, um, 300 music platforms, 300 record labels. You know what I'm saying? And you look up and one year has gone by and you've done so much. You've done so much, and you've established yourself in so many different ways. So setting goals is very important and is very, very heavy towards your career. I did the same thing with post-construction cleaning. I said, I'm going to have 100 clients a year. I want 100 brand new clients. I want 50 contracts. Um, I said, I want 10 major contracts a year. I want 50 reoccurring clients, and I'm going to get 100 new clients. And I'm going to be able to start off with that. That is my goal. That was my goal. Now, that was the plan. And when I said, I'm going to make $7,500 at the minimum, I made a goal of it. Now, you can write these stuff, you can write these lists down, you can write these goals down, and you can say, well, now, you know, manifestation is going to allow these things to come to me. But no, what you don't understand is that you have to put work behind it. Once you write it down, now you know what it is that you want. So mentally, you're connected with these plans that you made. And spiritually, you have a guide. Your guide is what pays attention to what you pay attention to. So if you're paying attention to this list that you have, then what you think your guide is going to do? Your guide is going to be like, nah, nah, that ain't, that ain't what you need to do. No, stop over here. Check that out. All right, okay, okay. That didn't work out. Well, we, we're still heading in the right direction. That's one reason why once you have a plan and you know what you want, there is no left or right turns. You still have to go through to get to. So with that being said, again, I'm only encouraging you to go ahead and do what it is that you said that you was going to do. Start today. You want to save money? Take five, five hundred, five, I don't know what kind of money you got. If you got money and you want to save money, stop playing. You got to remember, saving money is not just not spending it. Saving money means not spending it. <laughs> it mean, I mean, it doesn't mean not just putting it to the side because if you put it to the side, you might still end up spending it. So really saving money is not spending so much and then also replacing those spending expenses and putting that to the side so if you say well you know I, I gotta have my treat every week you know what I'm saying I gotta have my fix <laughs> you see this haircut you know how many times I done changed my mentality about my haircut I said I'm gonna get a haircut once a week so I can stay clean I gotta look good you know what I'm saying I gotta look good you know what I'm saying? I'm a professional. I'm a business owner out here. I'm a lesbian. I'm a transgender male. I'm black. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm young. You know, I'm a 
business owner, like there's so many reasons of why we feel like we have to mentally do certain things to look a certain type of way or fit some type of profile. And I'm telling you, I done had labels from head to toe on me to make me feel like I needed to do something to keep up with some type of name tag that I have. And I am happily standing before you on the screen at 32 years old telling you fuck every single one of those labels, for one. And for two, if I know that I can take the $100 that I put up for my hygiene and put that shit up for savings, then I'm going to do that. Plus, I look better with long hair, right? And um, But more so because we shouldn't hold ourselves to standards that really are just mind-bottling like they're you know like for all the wrong reasons you know what i mean like i don't know i've always liked natural better anyway don't get me wrong but like i said i can come up with more than a few reasons as to why i would rather save my money than to actually spend my money um just to look good don't get me wrong a fresh haircut makes life so much better and the compliments are just out of the world but like i said at the end of the day um changing your perspective on things and knowing that there's like a hovering like there's a cover over your head that just reminds you of why i was doing something or why i wasn't doing something in the first place you know what i'm saying and it helps it helps if you know you're using netflix i'm not even going to keep on going on with bills and stuff because like i said i'm blessed to live in, in a situation where my expenses are very well taken care of and being that I'm growing my business as a post-construction contractor, it's the best place that I can be in because now that I have money coming in, and I mean, now that I can actually make, now that I'm making big money, then where I'm staying at is the perfect place for me to be. Like, with everything that's going on, I thank God that I'm not in the apartment that I was looking for two years ago. I'll be paying like 2000 a month in rent alone. We're not even talking about bills. And let's just say I did pull off in that brand new uh, Volkswagen. I would have a $300 note, probably $100 insurance. That's almost three grand in just bills. We ain't even talking about laundry, hygiene, or um, entertainment expenses, please. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with what it is that I got going on because it has more momentum. Not momentum, but it has more significance. Um, regardless of what's in my bank account and what's not and what's in my pocket or what's not or what labels I'm wearing or what I'm not because at the end of the day I'm only wearing mine you know what I mean and I rep for my friends I still got change to support them and their businesses but the goal at the end of the day which is kind of what I was trying to stay on point about which I am still on point is we make goals to get what we want and the more you make those goals, the more you realize how your mentality works towards the things that kept you from them. You know what I mean? So now I get to save $100 every month that I could be investing in six months from now. 600 bucks six months from now is going to be a big difference. That's going to be exactly what you need to, to start a business. You know what I'm saying? TLC. I was just talking about TLC. I'm a distributor to do TLC, but I never took the money to go invest into the products the way that I need to. But that doesn't stop me from being able to do that now. Now I can talk about TLC. Now I can actually indulge, engage in those products. Now I have the time to go and do that stuff because that's what I wanted to do. And once again, it was insecurity or it was hesitation or it was procrastination that kept me from making the investment, making the connection with my consumers, with my clients, with my customers and saying, they can relate to it just like I can. So what special training would I need? You know what I mean? All I need to do is just stop thinking so much and realize that I'm just another one of the people out of the 20,000 that stay in my radius. 20,000 is the number that I'm throwing out there. But let's just say, you know what I'm saying? Within a two mile radius, you got about 20,000 people. And you're just one of those individuals that decided to change your mind today. And now you got something they don't know about right within the first with the two miles. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of connection. That's a lot of network. And that's community. You know, that's community. And I'm into that. I think about that all the time. Knocking on my door's neighbor. Let's do a barbecue. Or, hey, let's buy some gold. Or, hey, let's do a, a block party. 
or hey i'm doing construction cleaning do you have any nephews that want a job does anybody want to start a business in post construction i got these t-shirts you know what i mean so making those plans to invest in yourself allows you to enhance your mentality towards other things too you know what i mean why we get together um what you have to talk about we have to change the conversation in our conversation just to make sure that we are not only progressing as individuals individually but our lives are showing that and sh and, and 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 giving that off to other people and like i said see you in six months is a big deal to me because after recognizing the progress that i made in two years in just two years off of some of the things that i'm telling you guys i want you to know the same thing now i can't get on here and flash stacks of cash and trips and vacations and brand new cars and three thousand dollar poodles and shit like that but i'm very satisfied with the progress that i have i'm very satisfied with the life that i'm building and have built for myself because i did it <laughs> you know what i mean like i said and um it doesn't mean that things aren't gonna get better it just means that it all took starting somewhere to say i can be great you know what i mean i can do this and i know i can do this now i can only guarantee i can guarantee you that half of the stuff that a lot of you have been thinking to do you're confident about doing but you haven't done it you haven't done it for whatever reason you haven't like i don't know why like you know what I'm saying? I don't know why it is that you have not started. I don't know why you haven't talked about it. I don't know why you haven't made a plan about it. I don't know why you haven't done none of this shit. Like, none of it? Like, none of it? And you probably have ideas that nobody has ever thought that you had. Like, you just sit back and think to yourself all day. All day, you sit there and just think to yourself all the great stuff that you could be doing. All the great stuff that you could be showing and sharing with the world. You selfish. You are so selfish for not doing that. You know, so like you gotta bring that out. You gotta, you gotta. You don't even have to make a plan. You know what I mean? It's just once you know that you're gonna do something, it's where you're gonna be at six months from now because today you made a decision. You know what I'm saying? It don't get no simpler than that. It don't get any more simpler than that. You know. I mean, if your if your goals were out of, out of the outrageous like mine, like if I were to say I'm gonna find my wife in six months, now that's like speaking things into existence. Like I'm going to find my wife in six months. I'm going to find my wife in six months. I'm going to find my wife in six months. But I can't make a plan to say I'm just gonna go, you know, go go go, uh, you know, marry just a chick. You know what I'm saying? But what I can do is make a plan to to get married you know what i mean i can make a plan if i know that i love the person that i'm with if you know you love the person that you're with why not marry them why not even make that a goal you know so why not just put that into the group and make that personal you know what i'm saying and we only know about it whoever's in the group i want to know i want us to be tight i want to know what you're doing that drives me that that turns me on to just happiness like i'm super stoked to know that you're handling your shit and that you're accomplishing what you want to accomplish for real i mean that i really mean that from the, from all of everything pumping in my heart i don't even have a regular conversation because i'm so stoked about just living my life the way it is that every section of it is exactly designed for what it is and i just want you to thrive and be happy because that makes me happy and I mean that generally. If you talk to anybody that talks about me or talks to me, then you would know that more than likely I'm either asking about your goals, I'm asking about your family, or I'm asking about what we're currently doing. Because everything else, it's not that it doesn't matter, but I'm, I only think a certain type of way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I only think a certain type of way. Especially now, because I know what it's like to think so much outside of what doesn't concern you, outside of what doesn't move you that doesn't motivate you you know what i'm saying like if i can't learn from you or if i can't assume that what you doing or what you did got you to where you are then i'm not thinking anything in the opposite i'm not thinking that this person will never make it 
like you're not the fit you're not the person you can't you like no <laughs> come on you know so i know anything that you decide to do that you prepare yourself to do it. if you're thinking about doing it please don't do it you know what i'm saying share it with see you in six months let us know what you're doing um and keep us intact with it <sighs> and um please do like share with me i want to know what you're doing in your life you know what i'm saying as far as i'm concerned i told you please look forward to shedding skin dropping november 14th i am going to be punching a pre-order version by the 10th and then i will be launching the book on the 14th um the book will probably be i can't tell you a price yet you gotta give me a five you can, you can wait five to ten days for that okay um like I said, five days for the pre-release, nine days for the launch. It's my first book. It's a volume one, so there will be very many, very many more volumes to come after. Um, and like I said, I want, I look forward to you supporting that. Look forward to everything that I do, um, just as much as I'll look forward to everything that you do. And I mean that. So when it comes to see you in six months... Baby girl, baby boy, my man, my girl, regardless of what age you are, no matter where you come from, what you do, what your experience is, what your knowledge is, we all have something deep down inside of us that can go to the next level or is just waiting to get out in general. You got to treat yourself. All the different versions of ourselves deserve attention. So please pay attention to the version of yourself that's been crying out, saying, hey, I'm talented. Hey, I can cook. Hey, I'm good with animals. Hey, I'm good with homeless people. Hey, I'm a speaker. I'm a writer. I do hair. I'm a business owner. I'm an activist. I'm a leader. I'm a parent. I'm a wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, start preparing yourself in some way, shape, or form to say, I need to start making myself more available to the versions of me that have been trying to come out, you know? And make yourself known. Get rid of the thoughts that keep this person locked in. Stop it. You're being selfish. Let go. Let go. Let go of it. So it can come out and make you great. Be great. Let let all of your versions of yourself explore. You cannot come out here and say, I'm manifesting. I'm a spiritual person. I'm a this, I'm a that. I'm a positive this and that and third. But you're holding on to something. And that's selfish. That's selfish. It's probably a billion people on this planet that can connect with that one person that you're holding back because you got that one thought that's trying to keep you in there. That's trying to keep that person in there. That's not fair. So remove those negative strengths. Those negative chains, those negative questions, those negative walls, those bricks, those bullshit ass excuses, and bring out the best in you. I mean that. I'm out of here.